Inside 103. So we're, we're telling you now here what the truthful views of life are. So, Inside 103 it says, <coughs> become established in truth, which is correct thoughts and or viewpoints. Therefore, when influential ideas come, they cannot automatically and easily establish their reality as being valid in your mind. So long as the individual is firmly established in and focused on their correct views of life, the individual will not be swerved. It is essential that the viewpoints not be purposefully limited because the person could be lying to him, him or herself and this would not be an honest introspection into life. All right. Um, so what I mean by another explanation, I say what I mean by correct or true. Is anything correct or true? Anything and all things. Why? Why any truth? Because any truth is connected to all truths. They relate to each other. So all it takes is for, for one person to learn a, a truth, investigate and learn a truth. Look at this truth from various perspectives and learn it. And then from there, he can branch out. This truth will be related to some other truths. And he will learn other truths based on this truth. He will, will learn other truths. And if he continues like this, he will learn about the world around him and himself in totality, gradually going from forward from one truth to the other, learning. As he's learning about this stuff and seeing the reality of these truths, he is grounding himself on, uh, on those truths. He is seeing that he can rely on these truths um, and live by the truths that he has learned. All right, so here I'm going to give you an example. <coughs> there are two examples under there, but I'm going to give you one of them. Example J2. This is a really a uh, fantastic um, example, not only because of the information here for this book, but also for, for, the, for the next book, which is a, have the next book coming, having to do with emotional fulfillment. A lot of people are unfamiliar with this thing which I'm going to speak of, so I want you to become, listen to it. It's really, really helpful for you for this book and also for emotional fulfillment. Okay, here it goes. Example J2. You decide to be a beautiful person. Now this is talking about how truths relate to other truths. And how you can live by those truths. Let us say that you decide to be a beautiful person. So you look into the mirror. So you look into the mirror. When I point out the... Uh, when I point, in the book it, it is italicized. I'm going to point to make the point that is italicized and when I point it means that this is um, these are truths or truths that lead to other truths <coughs> and also the methods by which the truths are discovered okay they're all going to be point, pointed out let us say that you decide to be a beautiful person you, say, you, say, you like to be a beautiful person you want to be beautiful you know so you look into the so you look that's how you discover that you're beautiful. You look into the mirror and you analyze, analyze yourself. And you see that you might need some work done on yourself. You think that you would like a new hairstyle. <laughs> I'm just giving you one example. <coughs> but then, uh, but then, you think, you think again and say, well, even though the hairstyle will be good, hair is dead material anyway. Hair is dead material anyway. That's the truth. You can go to the hairstylist or work on your hair, but your facial skin needs to look more beautiful. Your, fa your facial skin needs to look more beautiful. This is, you, you come upon this conclusion. So you, th so you think, if I, if I exercised, then my skin will look more beautiful. My muscles in my skin will look better. But with 
exercise, you know you have to eat good too. <laughs> Plus the good food like, like fruits and vegetables and the right amount of protein, you know, from vegetable sources you can get them, will make your skin look, uh, your skin really healthy, will make your skin really healthy. So now you have included exercise and correct eating. Also you notice that your entire body needs to be healthy. Not just this, but your entire body, you notice. How, how do you make a connection between this and the entire body? It's connected. This is connected to this. It's, you know, like for example, you have a you have an ache in your toe. You go, ah, this hurts. So what is the toe? What does the toe have got to do with you making an expression on your face? <laughs> That's all related. You have, you know, you have an infection somewhere in your body and your finger. It might spread to the other parts. They're all related. So, anyway. So now you have included exercise and correct eating. Also, you notice that your entire body needs to be healthy. That is. That is more beautiful than just facial beauty alone. Through exercise and proper nutrition, you notice you look better, you, your health is getting better, and you are stronger. You notice that you are more easily able to do your work at your job. Through a day of stress, you notice that the expression, the expression on your face and the feelings, oh yeah, so sorry, through a day of stress, you notice that the expression on your face and the feelings inside you look miserable. Ah, oh, so the expression on your face and the feelings inside you, ah, there's something internal going on, you notice. Makes you look miserable, not very pretty. You realize that you also need to take care of stressful situations in order to be beautiful, healthy and strong. Also, since you noticed that your internal feelings and thoughts affected your outside gestures and overall feelings, you want to feel beautiful inside as well as out. So you decide to work on your inner beauty, for you realize that a beautiful person outside with an ugly inside looks very ugly. Example of, small example of that is, what is, uh, you know, uh, a beautiful inside, I wanted to mention. Well, um, Beautiful inside. Beautiful outside. Beautiful inside. Beautiful outside. We relate it to being healthy, right? Outside means healthy. Beautiful inside, also healthy. Beautiful inside. Beautiful inside means to be inside being having qualities, ways of thinking, behaviors, thoughts, feelings, everything that is internal, the way you're thinking and feeling, that is harmonious, healthy, harmonious, positive. This is equated with beauty. What is a, like when you, when you spend time with a friend, right? Now, if it's a good friend and you genuinely love interacting with him or her, the time with your, you spend with them is beautiful, right? Because of their personality. Person, their personality is, just, you enjoy their beautiful personality, you know? <laughs> All right, see? So their personality is agreeable. It's, uh, it's got uh, numerous traits of positivity, you know, in so many ways. They have many positive traits. They're, they're uh, genuine, honest, uh, to a degree. They are, these are all degrees, you know. You don't, we don't know how, de how deeply they are. They are honest and uh, all the other positive qualities until they're tested actually in actual life. So we're going to go with degrees. So they're honest to a degree. They're uh, playful to a degree. They're, they listen to a degree. Uh, they, uh, they like to have fun with you in a degree. Uh, they respect you to a degree. Uh, and so all these qualities are much, much more... Uh, makes spending time with them enjoyable, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to give you the other example as well. Now, the other example is about 
the sun and the earth. Circle each other. It's an example K2. Now, in the old times, this is about scientific information. They used to think that, uh, some people used to think that the sun circled the earth. Modern age, you know, a little, much later, people realized, no, the earth is circling the sun. Of course, uh, with uh, modern scientists who looked into this matter, they realized that actual, actually, it's both. Both the sun is circling the earth, and the earth is circling the sun. They both have an impact on each other on their orbits. They both have an impact on each other's orbits. Neither is stationary. This is an example of how you need to uh, be open-minded and look at different perspectives and to improve upon your understanding of reality, uh, outside or inside reality. Okay.